So we're going to solve this. Um, we're going to be using the quadratic formula because we can't factorize this 2 and this 5 to make um, 0. So we're going to be using the quadratic formula which is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. I'll just grab another pencil. Um, over 2a. So where do we get these a, b, c letters from? We go take this from this equation we have here. So this first number is 1 because of x and it's also and it's going to be a and this 2 is going to be, oh this 2x is going to be 2 and it's going to be b and then this last one is going to be Five, oh, minus 2 for this one, sorry. It's going to be 5. And it's also going to be known as C. So when we grab these numbers and we put into this, it'll look like this. So we go X equals negative B. So seeing though it's already, it'll look like a negative, it'll look like this. So And then two negatives cancel each other out and it'll just become... 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared so we got this it's still a negative so negative 2 squared minus 4 a 4 so a is 1 so there's 1 there and then C is the 5 over 2 times 1. So we want to go and simplify this. So we go 2, because we can't simplify that anymore, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared. So negative 2 squared is positive 4, because two times, negative 2 times negative 2 equals a positive, so 4 minus negative 4 times 1 is still negative 4 and then negative 4 times 5 is negative 20 over 2 times 1 is still 2 so that if we want to go and simplify that even more we go 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20 which is 16 over 2 and I don't think by memory you can square root 16. No, you can. So then you want to go ahead and simplify it again. So 2 plus or minus 4 equals 2. So you could leave it, on, leave it like this and that would probably give you like half a mark. But if you want to go further you go x equals, so, and you split it apart, so you take the plus and the minus and you separate them. So you want to go 2 plus 4 over 2 and make another one and call it x2 and this x1 and then you want to go 2 minus 4, like, and we did plus in this one, so you want to go 2 minus 4 over 2. So you end up with two separate answers. So if we take this one down, it'll be 6 over 2, which is 3. And then if you want to take this down, 2 minus 2 equals 2 over 2, which is 1. So your two answers at the end, you'll write like this, 3, comma 1. And there's your final answer.